Hello, this is Mike again from Scratch. Welcome to a quick tip on improving rendering speeds in Camtasia Studio. Now, if you're one of my regular viewers, I apologize this has nothing to do with game development. It's just it's one of those things I discovered myself, and I use Camtasia Studio all the time. And its slow rendering process has a direct result on my life. This cost me hours and hours and hours a week. Um, all of my videos, this video right now that I'm doing, I do them and I record them using Camtasia Recorder. And then I put them together in Camtasia Studio. Now this is Camtasia Studio right here. And it's probably the preeminent software for this. It's a little pricey, uh, but it does what it does well. The only thing it kind of really sucks at is audio work. By the way, if you're from Camtasia, please make your audio filters better or at least add some. Uh, but for everything else, it works quite well except when it comes to rendering. When I go and render this, so when I say, okay, um, take this title, take this recording, take this sound, take this audio, take this voiceover, and turn it into a video, that process can take between 10 minutes and an hour and a half. Like, it's painful. And I'm not running on slow computers by any means. Now, it embarrasses the hell out of me that I didn't figure this out myself. And it's even more worrying that Camtasia doesn't shout this from the mountaintops, because this is a very easy fix, and it resulted in a three times improvement in speed for me. So if you're running Camtasia Studio, pay attention. When you go to render on this guy, make sure you have the GPU enabled. And I know it sounds like a no-brainer, but it's not one of those things that you think about when you're not using games. Now, if you're a gamer and you have an Optimus-enabled laptop, you already know about this. You have to force the product, the first whatever software, to run using a dedicated GPU. Now, if you're not a gamer, this might be news to you. And what it is, Optimus is this technology that enables uh, your chip. Your chip basically has two GPUs inside of it, one that's built into the CPU, um, which generally is an Intel, say, like a HD 4600 or 4000 or uh, 510. Like it's, it's a built-in kind of crappy integrated graphics card, but it uses low power. And then on top of that, you normally have a dedicated GPU. Something like, in my case, I have an NVIDIA uh, GTX 970M, which is a fast gaming capable um, machine, or sorry, uh, graphics card, but it sucks down the juice. So what your laptop does is it runs in using the the low power version until something demanding comes along. And it's supposed to automatically switch up. Now, supposed to is the key word because it screws up all the time. And what you need to do to get um, Camtasia rendering fast is to enable GPU rendering. So if you already know how to do this, you can finish watching now because the rest of the video is just going to show that process. So to do this on a one-off basis, you can come in and go just to find your Camtasia like so. And in my case, I'm going to go actually to the file location. So you either need to be at the shortcut or the executable itself. In this case, I'm gonna use the shortcut. So you see here, I'm in my start menu. And when you run it, so instead of running it normal, just right click it and say, run with graphics processor, high performance NVIDIA processor. So that's if you wanna do it on a one-off basis. However, if you want to do it uh, once and only, you can go into your start menu, instead go to the NVIDIA control panel, like so. So if you're on uh, Windows 7, go to start control panel and then search for this guy. Um, and all you want to do is switch over, uh, give it a second to load, bump, 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 uh, over here and just add the program. So select program to customize, add. Sorry, I'm actually rendering a video as we were talking, so it's a bit slow right now. All right, here we go. And then just pick the program you want to use. So it's not Camtasia Recorder you want, it's Camtasia Studio. So just Camtasia Studio, like so, and say, instead of auto select like this, set it to use the high performance NVIDIA processor and then apply. So now from now on, when you run Camtasia, it will automatically use your GPU. And in my case, I saw a three times improvement in speed. Now, if that all fails and you're still getting crap performance, go into Camtasia Studio itself and turn GPU rendering off. This should get you back to Camtasia 7 levels of performance. And in the case where you have a crappy GPU, your CPU, the emulated version, will actually run faster. So in that case, just go to Tools, Options, and turn use GPU acceleration if available off and see if that increases your speed. Like I said, in my case, getting GPU um, performing on the right graphics processing unit caused a three times speed increase. So this is definitely something that's worth looking into. And for the game development people that stuck around, sorry about the distraction, don't worry, next video all about game development, I promise. Hope that was useful, see y'all later, bye.